David Ward got out of jail earlier this year after serving time for theft by contractor, but it doesn't seem like he learned his lesson. We found he's moved to a new city and maybe up to his old tricks. CBS 58 investigates confronted David Ward again. Hey, Mr. Ward, Kristen Barbarisi with CBS 58. We heard you're working as a contractor again. Ward has multiple convictions for theft by contractor across Wisconsin and Illinois, dating back more than 20 years. It's a criminal past CBS 58 investigates uncovered, leading to Ward's year-long jail sentence in Waukesha County in 2018. Just lie, lie after lie. Now, Ward is out of jail and moved to Madison, advertising his contracting and roofing services to neighbors on Nextdoor. I just was like, oh my gosh, unbelievable. James Schwartz saw Ward's posts on the neighborhood social networking site and recognized him immediately. Schwartz worked with Ward in Fond du Lac before Ward went to jail. I'm thinking somebody's got to, got to say or blow the whistle on this. He's just in an area where nobody knows him, so he's getting away with it. So far, no one is saying they've been ripped off, but Ward is still on probation, and one of the conditions of that probation no employment as a contractor or subcontractor. But on Nextdoor, Ward calls himself a contractor and is offering to do garage additions, roof repairs, and windows, saying his labor is, quote, obviously less than you will pay for a big-name contractor. CBS 58 Investigates has asked Ward for comment multiple times throughout the last several years, and we asked him about the latest allegations. We heard you're working as a contractor again. Doesn't that violate your probation, sir? Ward took off the wrong way down a one-way street. We reached out to the Department of Corrections, which oversees people on probation, and asked if Ward is in violation. They got back to us late Friday afternoon and said they conducted an extensive investigation and found Ward is not in violation because he's posting on Nextdoor on behalf of his employer and that all monies and contracts were handled through Mr. Ward's employer, not Mr. Ward himself. The DOC adds Mr. Ward has been directed not to post services for his employer on the app in the future. 58 Investigates spoke to one woman who got an estimate for an addition from Ward. She says he did give her a business card with the company Committed Contracting. The name on the card was Lee Cowboy Ward. She says he told her the addition would cost $42,000 and she had to pay him in cash. She says that was a red flag and didn't hire him. She also tells 58 Investigates Ward spoke with a heavy Southern accent, something we've never heard in court. The circumstances, why we are here today, are many, but it doesn't change the fact that I let you down. Things went wrong. I tried to correct them. I did speak with the owner of Committed Contracting before the DOC investigation. He told me Ward does work for him, but he doesn't track every job Ward does and didn't know if Ward was doing jobs independently. Reporting in studio, Kristen Barbarisi, CBS 58 News.